Okay, so I think right now is a pretty appropriate time to talk about um, this little setup thing I have. So I went on a trip the other day and I could not take my fishing poles. Um, where I went, there's a lot of water. I could have fished easy, um, but a lot of my poles are one piece set between six, six, and seven, three. Seven, three being my biggest. Um, so I thought it was pretty neat to make what I call my just in case rod and reel and my just in case tackle box. Um, it's not very big, I'll show it to you. All right, so there's two ways you can do this. Um, depending on how big your trunk is or how much room you have, you can use one of these little, uh, this is a Shakespeare ugly stick, just a cheap rod. I think it's got eight pound line on it. Um, it's cheap eight pound line. It's got little rooster tails, but it's a one piece. Now it fits in there, but I still have to have my seat down. And on that trip, I could not have my seat down. That's why I couldn't take my poles. So if you have a bigger trunk, then this would work, or a truck, something like that, of course. It's gonna be very space efficient. I've got this loose speed stick. I think it's a six six, but it's a two piece. So you can break it down. And the reason I like this one is it's got eight pound uh, line on it. Eight pound line is plenty if you know how to set your drag and everything else for just fishing in a hurry, you know, something you have to fight everything you get, but it'd be worth it. But I've got this that I really like this rod and reel, and then I've got my little tackle box. Because when I take, when I go fishing, I take quite a bit of stuff. I've got a milk crate right now filled with six fishing trays. So this is my just in case tackle box. It's got pliers, it's got some soft plastics, um, sinkers, bobby stops. I've got a bag in here with multiple types of soft plastic. Uh, I've got flukes in there, Sankos. I think there's some crawls. Just random stuff I know works and that I really trust and use. Um, it even has crappie bait. That's why I went with eight pound line eight pound line is good for throwing your weightless wacky rigs your texas rigs but you could also turn right around and throw a crappie jig and get a decent distance that's why i also like the two piece you know versus the ugly stick i think it's what is this <clears throat> this is a four eight pole i get better length out of this pole than i would the 4H Shakespeare. You know, this pole is fun for crappie fishing, but like I said, if you're just in a hurry and you want to keep something in your trunk or you're going on a trip where you can't have a lot of gear, this would work perfect. I'll go in to what I actually have in the box when I get home, uh, cause right now I'm freezing and I'm ready to get home and get warmed up a little bit. So we'll see you in just a second back at the house. Okay, so first things first, like I said, this is a universal tackle box in a way so right off the bat it's got a, I think it's called a chugger that is in here um, I've got more hard blast hard plastics but they're in the bottom I've got a little bobby for crappie rigs stuff like that um, I've got a top water I think it's a raid chad anyway 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 there's that one that's my top water bait um, I've got a Guggen crack and crawl what else I've got a smaller fluke we got a swim bait with the underspin to it we've got a grub that i use for walleye and whatever hit mainly walleye though um, i've got just for fun i've got these really small little small fish things they're like a really small crappie jig um, i've got a regular crappie jig with the underspin. Got that. I've got a Bobby Garland hooked up with the underspin. I've got the regular uh, sickle hooks. Let's see. I've got some. I got two one ounce weights, some Bobby stops, uh, some bullet sinkers for Texas rigs. I've got a lighter if I don't have a knife or something on me to burn the line so I can get it free so look at change up baits um let's see I've got a jig just a random jig I had laying around that I never used I figured 
if I put the stuff I never use in here, at least eventually it might get used in situations like I said earlier where I didn't have any of my fishing equipment with me. So, but yeah, I got that jig. What else? And I also put a moisture pack in here to try to get the moisture out of here because I don't want my hooks and stuff to rust. I've got a couple catfish hooks, um, smaller octopus hooks. I've got some kind of little fly thing in here. Just random baits that could be used in a pinch. Now, the inside, there's my pack of baits I was telling you about. That is random stuff. There's flukes, swim baits, um, sankos, tubes, uh, extra rage rage shad, just that stuff. Here's the bobby garlands I was using earlier. Uh, got me a pair of pliers. Let's see what's in here. Uh, it's more random baits. There's a spinner bait, um, another fluke, sanko, trick worm. I think there's even another jig in there. So I've got this little three pack of baits from what is it? From big uh, big bites. So I can use it. I've got this. This is a baggie I had in my car before my car messed up. It's just got a couple random things in it. I don't even think they're really usable. But there is a swim bait in here and some metal leaders. So if I ever am catfishing and need, or anything really, if I'm just bottom fishing and need a metal leader, I've got that. And then here's my other hard baits. I've got, let's see, I've got this little Rapala jerk bait. It's like, kind of like a, I think a rainbow trout color. Got this small crank bait, work good in creeks. It's actually a small square bill. Um, I've got a grasshopper, be good for a creek. Got this little bait. If I can get fingers off the hooks. I've got another little blue and yellow jerk bait, real small. And then lastly, I got this. I think this is a jerk bait, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure what it's replicating. But some kind of little. It's a bullhead six, whatever that is. So. So that's my little just in case setup. Um, like I said, it's cool to have these, especially if you have a smaller vehicle like I do and you can't take all your big poles with you when you're trying to travel to go see people and stuff like that. So it, so far, I mean, it don't take up much space. That's it. I've done showed you the rod. It's in the car. Um, when it breaks down, it, it's not very big. I mean, it fits in the back of my car and I've got a small trunk. So, but. If you guys like the video and want to see me use this stuff more often, um, maybe a challenge. I bought these a long time ago to do a challenge video with it. I've actually got two, and we just never got around to it, so I figured I could put it in here as a just in case. It's a crawl, a Sanko, and a swim bait. So I mean, you really can't go wrong with the three main baits that be that I use. So get all this back in here. That's the fun part. So I would be trying to use this a little more often. Um, I might go out this evening with some real worms and use just stuff I have in here and a little thing of real worms. Or I might try to find some really small baits around the house and put in here as well. We will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that little notification button so you know when I put out videos. I love every single one of you. We'll see you later. Flossy. Yeah. Flossy. Get out of my face. Go, 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 no! Stop! You knocked my camera over. Jeez! Go that way! Call him! Okay. No, do it again! Go! Oh, the camera! Let him out! We're late! Don't use them words! <laughs> He's went nuts. It's like having dogs. They're a little petrol. You have to wait. I'm doing something.
Okay, so, like I told you when I got home to warm up, I'm going to show you what's in it. I just, Mojo! Come here. It ain't that funny. Mojo, go, go to your mama. Why did that trigger him? Mojo! Go, in there, go. I know it. So I was going to try to show you what's in my box Oof. of what I actually have in here. So let's see. Go away, go away, go away. You don't want to hit. You can use the table. Oh. The bully. <laughs> Mojo. Oh my goodness. You need it for me? You need it? Hmm? Here it is. End it. I'm gonna end it. Oh my goodness. Get the stuff out of your eyeballs. Get the stuff out of your eyeballs.